Reuters Watford humiliate Chelsea It was a night of utter despair as a shambolic Chelsea were totally humbled by struggling Watford when Conte saw midfielder Temue Bak and Yoko sent off for two yellow cards. Troy Deeney rammed home a first half a penalty, and though Eden Hazard equalized with eight minutes left, Daryl Yanmot scored their second two minutes later, Gerard Dulafu fired in the third, and then, unbelievably, Roberto Pereira slammed in a fourth to give Javi Gracia his first win as Watford manager. No one could deny his team thoroughly deserved the victory. Conte had asked for the vote of confidence after a constant running battle between him and the hierarchy over transfer policy all season. After this debacle, that is never going to happen, with his players clearly not playing for the Italian. He had asked for patience, but owner Roman Abramovic rarely shows that, and he surely will not now. The end for the Chelsea manager, who guided his side to the Premier League title last season, could be a matter of days away. Former Barcelona manager Luis Enrique and former Chelsea manager Carlo Ancelotti, both out of work at the moment, will be standing by their phones. The Italian FA had earlier in the day admitted that Conte had ruled himself out of the four-man shortlist for the next national manager, Vice Commissioner Alessandro Costacurta revealing that he had said he wanted to stay in club management. It probably will not be at Chelsea. Reuters Troy Dini swears at the Chelsea fans after scorch Patti Mabakayoko is sent off this was a must-win match for Conte after the 30-home defeat by Bournemouth last week but right from the start, Chelsea looked nervous and shaky, as Abdoulaye Adokor drove wide, Hornets debutante Dulae will hit the side netting, and Dini somehow missed the target from 8 yards. William drove over as Chelsea managed a rare moment of fluency, but they were giving the ball away with virtually every pass, with £40 million midfielder team Aubakayoko a particular culprit. Struggling Watford, with one win in their last seven games, looked by far the more confident and assured. At the back Chelsea, unrecognizable from a team that were champions only in May, looked like conceding a goal every time Gracias men came forward. The utterly hapless Bakayoko was booked for a foul on Capoe when he once again miscontrolled the ball. Then his and Chelsea's evening got even worse, as the Frenchman lost the ball again, this time to Rickarlson, and went in hard, foot high against the Brazilian. He was sent off for his second yellow card. There was not much contact but there was enough, leaving Chelsea an hour to play with ten men. Then Gary Cahill misjudged a through ball from Jan Mott which left Dula few clear, and Courtois brought the Spaniard down as he raced out. Dini rammed home the spot kick giving the middle finger on both hands to the Chelsea fans, and the Hornets had the lead they thoroughly deserved. It was Dini's fourth goal of the season and his third from the penalty spot. Reuters Aiden Hazard got Chelsea back into it. Chelsea's players looked like a team that had simply stopped trying for their demanding manager, tired of the constant braiding from the touchline, the yelling and the posturing. No club self-destructs quite like Chelsea. We saw it in 201,516, the year after Jose Mourinho won the Premier League for the second time, and his team stopped playing, the Ancelotti actually lasted until the end of the season the year after he won the title, Roberto Di Matteo went in. The November after winning the Champions League, for heaven's sake. At the start of the second half, Conte sat in his dugout with the look of man who knows what is coming. The way the Italian has been talking lately though, it might well be something he is looking forward to. Watford were finding acres of space, and for Chelsea it was simply a case of stopping it becoming humiliating. It really was that bad. But then suddenly Eden Hazard, virtually anonymous all night, collected the ball up just inside the area and his angled drive zipped past Orestes Carnazis and into the far corner. As a turnaround it was incredible. What an injustice on an excellent wide for that would have been. But then Chelsea caved in again. Pereira set up Jan Mott to stab in from six yards. And in an incredible last seven minutes, Dula Ewu strode through to shoot home, and Pereira, in acres of space once again, seared in the fourth. The end is nigh, Antonio.